Let's construct logic circuit for half adder. Very first step is to write block diagram. Step 1, you need to write block diagram. When you write block diagram, you will be getting a clear cut idea about the number of inputs and outputs. See, for this half adder, I will be taking two inputs. They are A and B. I will be getting output which is sum and carry out. I will be representing sum as S and carry out as C0. And then the next step is you need to write truth table. How to write this truth table? You need to consider the number of inputs. Here you have got two inputs so that you will be getting 2 power 2 that is 4 combinations. So that I will be writing a truth table of 4 combinations. A, B which is of 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. For this I need to get sum and carry. Okay. So sum and carry I need to get now by adding A and B. See. I will be taking A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0. When you add this, what you will be getting? 0 plus 0, sum is 0, carry is 0. 0 plus 1 is, sum is 1 and carry is equal to 0. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 and the carry is equal to 0. 1 plus 1 is what? We are adding in decimal system so that you need to convert it back to binary. 2, 1 times 2, remainder is 0. So, 1 will be the carry and 0 will be the sum. So, write that here. Sum is 0 and carry is equal to 1. So, now the step 2 is completed. Now, we need to proceed with step 3. Step 3 says that you need to get expression from truth table. I need to extract expression from truth table. How to start that? I need to find out for sum. I will take sum is equal to, see, in the sum column, wherever you are having 1, corresponding A and B value you need to take. See here, first condition is 0, we need not to take that. And the next condition is 1, I need to take this, okay. So, corresponding A and B, what is this? See here, A is 0 and B is 1. If you are having 0, that means you need to represent it with complement. If it is 1, you need to take the parameter as it is. Okay. So, I will be getting A bar and B. Okay. So, write A bar into B. Okay. For the next combination, you need to continue with plus. Okay. So, for next combination, I have got 1 here. The corresponding value is what? A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0. So, what I should write? A as it is, I should write since it is 0 here, I need to write B complement. So, the next term is A as it is B complement. Okay. Any other one is present in this column? No. Only two terms. That is over. Next, we need to write for C0. That is carry. Carry out. Here, if you observe, only one, one condition you have got true value. For one condition you have got true value. You need to see the corresponding value here. See what it is? It is A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1. So, A, B. You will be getting A into B. Okay? So, other conditions are 0. You need not to take. Hope you got how to take the expression from truth table. Next step 4. In this, we are going to construct logic circuit by using these expressions. Here, you need to check the question properly. So, whether the question is asked to construct by using basic gates or it is asked to write by using NAR gates only or the third option is NAND gates only. See here, if the question is not mentioning any of these kinds, you can use any gates to construct your uh, expression. Okay. So, you can use special function gates or you can use any basic gates or mixture of all these things. If it is asked particularly, you need to use basic gates or NAR gates or NAND gates, we need to follow some set of rules. Okay. Let us take one by one. Let's proceed with the first type. We are going to construct logic circuit for half adder by using basic gates. 
Once basic gates means you need to use only three types of gates and or not. Okay. When to use and, when to use or and not. Right. So you need to remember that when you are having a dot, then you must use and gate. Okay. And then when you are having a plus sign, then you must use or gate. Whenever you are having a complement, then you need to use not gate. This you need to remember. Okay. It is very simple and interesting too. Now let's construct for sum. See, very easiest technique is you just have a line which will be holding a A. Input A. And then you will be having one more input that is taken like this. So, in the first line A is running and then B is running in the second line. Okay. So, now what I need, the first term says that you need to have A bar. So, that I will tap here. I tap here and I connect a inverter. Okay. When I connect the inverter, that is not gate, what you will be getting here? This is A bar. Okay. And then, what is the next parameter here? B. You can directly tap that from this B line. Okay. And then, these two are connected with dot. So that, use and gate. Now, what is the outcome of this? This is A bar B. First term is over. Next term. Here, it is B bar. I need to tap B and I should connect a NOT gate to get B bar. Okay. And then I need A. So tap from this A line. You have got A here. So what is the outcome of this AND gate? A, B bar. Now how these two are connected? These two are connected with the plus sign. That plus indicates you need to use OR gate. Right. So I take these two outputs and it will be acting like an input for the R gate. What is the outcome of this R gate? Now, this is your sum S is equal to the first term A bar B plus, this is R gate plus A B bar. A B bar. That's all for sum. Next we will write C naught. Okay. C naught is equal to A dot B. When you are getting dot here, what you need to do? You need to use AND gate. So tap A and B, connect the AND gate. Outcome of this will be your C naught which is equal to A dot B. That's all for basic gates. If in your question it is not mentioned to use any type of uh, gates particularly, you can construct by using special gates. See here, we know that a bar B plus B bar A is nothing but A X or B. Okay, X or B. And C naught is equal to A dot B as it is. Fine. Now, how to construct this by using special function gate. See here, A and B, which is, which is given to a X or gate. So, this will be giving you sum, which is equal to A X or B, which is nothing but A bar B plus B bar A. And to get C naught, carry out. What you need to do? You tap here. See, when you are tapping, what you need to do is, you need to have a filled bubble here. That shows that it is connected to that line. Okay? Even if it is passing through any of the line, it is not connected. If it is having a filled bubble, then only we say that it is connected to that line. This is what the representation of connection. See, next, I need to tap B. So, filled bubble to this B line and then I will be taking that and I will be putting a gate here. Which gate I should use? I need to use AND gate because A and B are related with product sign that is dot. So I will be using a AND gate. This is what C naught which is equal to A dot B. This is a very simple representation of a logic diagram by using special function gates. Hope you like this video. Kindly like, share, subscribe for more videos and press bell icon to get upload notification and don't forget to comment your topic of interest in the comment section. Thank you.